Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is an open source video. I haven't done those in a long time, but I'm back with one and this time it's a simple glider system. And yeah, the original uh, model was not bad by me. Um, I'm gonna put that uh, original video in the description. But if you want to get my model, you can join my Discord, also link in the description. And then you just have to, um, then you can just go into here, go into the open source information channel, click this check mark, and then you get access to um, the open source channel where you can get the glider system. Okay, but uh, now back to the model. Um, I'm already gonna say, I'm not gonna explain really explain this here. I'm just gonna show you how you can modify this and how it's look uh, and how it looks. So, um, yeah, if you spawn in, the basic keybind for this is on PC is space, and you can just pull out the glider. And to cancel it, this is also space, just the same button again. Um, it also works for mobile and for controller. So that's something uh, pretty cool. So what I've added now is uh, those animations. You can animate the glider with the character. That's one thing that I added. Then I also added um, like wall collision, like this. It uses my own vector system. Um, yeah. Uh, then I also added that you can't well from 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 the ground up. You can't use a glider. You can also modify all of this and some other small stuff like sounds, etc., etc. Uh, you can view them all here. That's some stuff that I added. Yeah. Um, so now um, on how to modify it. So you can modify the keybinds in the glider star uh, in the glider local script. That is in starter character scripts. Here, up here, you can see. Uh, okay, I'm gonna showcase that first. So there's this option mobile jump trigger. You can set that to false or true. If it's false, then the for, mo for mobile players it will not use the jump button as the glider activation button but if you set it to true um, it will use the jump button as a glider activation and if you have it defaults uh, it will um, show this this um, oh, uh, it will show come on uh, it will show here it will show this button okay wait. yeah it will show this button on mobile, it's bigger on mobile. Um, if you have this off, it's also explained here. Um, I can just quickly showcase that device. Then you will see if this if it's off, that you have this glider button to uh, activate um, the glider on mobile. Uh, yeah, works just like on PC. But with the button and if you have it to true, you will not see this button. Yeah, and if we have it to two, you will see that there is no uh, gliding button, and you can just activate it while uh, with pressing the jump button. Um, okay, it can. Uh, that's pretty dumb, but uh, pretty hard to do. Yep. Okay. But yeah, and I can't really show it with the controller now, but you can. Customize the controller button here, and here you can also customize the um, keybind for PC. So we can just change the last one here to like I don't know, a key code dot M or something. Yeah. And this is the settings for the keybind stuff. But you can also do some more settings in the if you go into Glider and replicate search then into modules and then in the glider handler here with the speed, the gliding speed, the downforce, so how fast you go down and then the check distance, this is for starting, so when you jump then checks down if you are at auto glide and while you're gliding it also checks um, down and in front of you for a wall or the ground, this is this distance I saw just keeping it at six but yeah and then is that is the start check distance yeah okay so this is not the start distance I forgot but this is a start distance so 
it checks if you are at least 13 um, studs off the ground. Then you can start and this is the damage that you can get from rods. Yeah, the code is pretty simple. Um, you can easily customize it um, how you want, but yeah. This is basically already the whole video. Um, I can join my Discord to get it as I said already. And um, anyways, yeah, I hope you have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye.